if you've got a manual fill dishwasher, this one takes 5 litres from there. Usually you'll get something like that. And that can take about 3 jugs. And I find that I make a mess. I can really take that off. But, I mean, for this I would even use a watering can instead, just to give you accuracy, because you know, like that. I usually make splashes and stuff. But if you're looking for the easiest way, if you need a tap, in my opinion, it's to get one of these. One of these things that you use for your hair. Or whatever. This is about a metre long. A metre long. That's a, just over three foot. And I, I just hook it up any time I need it. And there I go. At first I was going to take this off because I thought, well, I'll just use straight hose, which may be better, I don't know. But then I thought, oh, well, it was too difficult to get this off. But then I thought, well, that'll spread it out more anyway and maybe less spillage. And also after a while you develop a technique so as not to spill it. So here I'll do this one. This is a 5 litre one. You need to be near a tap, obviously. Okay, here it goes. This one it tells me there and it beeps. There we go, no spillage at all, looks great. After a while you'll develop a technique so you don't get any spills at all. There we go. This one, that's, that's quite hard that. Maybe my tap's not the best to hook it onto. But after a while you develop a technique with that as well. Don't forget to empty it. And there you go, you've got your dishwasher all set to go. Just about this, I, I take that off because I don't really think it serves much of a purpose. It's still okay when I do that, when I fill it with that, it still works alright. It doesn't back up or anything, but I just think it doesn't really. It's not as if I'm going to get big lumps coming through my tap. 